overall, stylistically, the smoke guy, or the Invisible Man in Smoke, we call him the smoke guy, he's one of the most tough ones. Because unlike water, if you're underwater, you're being illustrated by the uh, water pretty clearly as a bubble. The smoke guy can appear, disappear. A lot of his character is very kind of ethereal. A lot of times you see the hole where he just went through, or you see a waft of smoke that he just pushed out of the way. Sometimes you need to see the actual expression on his face. Frank! The crowbar is Frank. There's a moment there where it's just pure glee on his face. And we knew, no question about it, that's the moment we've got to see the face. They'll say, we have to get photos of you. And I have to take pictures of my head in like, you know, a hundred different positions. We took a couple of cameras and asked him to go through a series of expressions. And ultimately, we picked about eight to 12 key expressions that we could use throughout Hollow Man. Whenever possible, we shoot photographic elements. So we shot either a smoke patch or different aspects of smoke. Uh, these are some smoke elements that were shot again for Frank's death. We probably went through 40 fire extinguishers in a day to get a lot of these. And oh, that's them. what all the fire extinguishers were doing over there. Some of the stuff that we did was actually render the backside of the guy. So you can see smoke over the front half, but then where the smoke is being stopped by my back, you can begin to see some detail in there. So the compositors take all these elements, twist them, scale them, invert them, you know, do a lot of different stuff to them, stack them up, put them on top of the plates that have been restored by the paint and roto department, put all that stuff together, hope for the best. Hi, boss.